Well, Ashley, this season, your fairy tale marriage to Michael almost completely unraveled under the strain of your struggling restaurant. But while the menu changed to offer more than emu and kangaroo, you also decided to pump the brakes on your dreams of motherhood. Take a look. We got married two years ago. What was the date of our wedding? It's very, very unusual for the wife not to remember the date. Oz has imposed such a huge strain on us. It's carried over into the bedroom. What's going on with you? Yeah, the baby maker. I'm just waiting. The restaurant is taking a little more time and energy okay. than I thought. We don't have sex nearly as much. No. Uh, uh, I, I don't want to hear that. A penis in a negative? Oh, who wants a negative penis? Chicken and donuts. This is Ashley's uh, mm -hmm. new creation. Okay. You progressively take the Australian out of the menu. I need to be able to have my creative vision too and not just be told what to do all the time by the wizard. The only thing that matters is your career. All that matters is how you feel. You can try to diminish me and minimize me all you like. Shut down your restaurant, shut down your event tonight, and this marriage will be over. It's my restaurant. Fine. I honestly don't know how to get back to that good place. You're my parent. I'm over here. Whew, that was rough. Wow, those two people are in trouble, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hard to watch that again? Yeah, that was. Well, well, yes and no. That was uh, a while ago, and since then there's been a lot, of, a lot of things happening. From where I'm sitting, the two of you were, I would consider, two of the horniest couples on all the housewives. <laughs> What is the status of your relationship now? Uh, Michael and I decided to <clears throat> um, part ways and live separately. Um, just to trial and see if maybe some time apart would bring us back together. Because I don't really believe in being in a situation where both people are unhappy without trying to rectify it. How long have you been separated? Three months. Was wow. the core issue of this relationship the restaurant? No. We got into a situation where we didn't feel like we were communicating, whether it's a trust issue or just a communication issue, we didn't feel like we were communicating in a way that two people should at this stage in our relationship. I just didn't feel valuable. I didn't feel like what I was doing was a positive contribution, when in actuality, I think I was really insecure about having a business at 28 years old, so I had to take it out on Michael quite a bit. Um, what were you saying? Well, I, I don't know if I... We want to know who yeah. moved out and where and where you're living. I mean, we have all these can, questions. Can I just say one thing first? That breaks my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, you never want to see a couple that clearly was all into each other not... potentially not make it. And we didn't know. Did any of you know this? I kind of had a feeling just I because sensed, of text we messages We sensed it, but, but them not... Somebody moving out, like... Would you have supported her? Yeah, I want you to feel like we got your back. I mean, because that's huge. Now, who moved out? <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say, why do you have Ashley's back and yeah, you don't have mine? I'm not mine? sure that you have Ashley's back, by the way, Giselle. <laughs> exactly. Oh, go, oh, yeah, because, because you didn't help matters. Mm -hmm. You two, with your stuff about the restaurant. Me? All right? Um, All three of you. And yes, we have absolutely. apologized. I know I have apologized I profusely to fact. Ashley about that. Um, but you can't say that you guys are separated because of Giselle, I'm Robin, say, or Cherise. I didn't Absolutely say not. that. And you and deflected this. that very well. I said that you were part of it. Not come on, we Michael. Were, come we on. Were part of what? I think that's of the unfair statement. The struggles of the restaurant that already existed, or the struggles of your there marriage. There are platforms that in life existed. that you have an advantage to use. I you don't can use agree. things and say things, and that platform is such that you can say things that other people can't defend. Does Ashley but not run her okay? mouth? Right. Is I'm it okay for her to about attack our relationships and to gossip and about else? our relationship? It's never when okay I've to go never after someone's done business. Anything to Ashley? It's never okay to go after someone's business. That is off the table. Our relationships should be off the table as well. Elaine from Boston Mass said. Ashley and Michael, it was very hard to watch you argue and threaten each other with divorce over something so stupid like a restaurant. If the restaurant is such a problem, why not close it down and save your marriage? Did I not? It's really that? not that easy, especially when you baby. consider how much money goes into it and that it's really our dream that we want to make work together. And that big fight was because Ashley told me she'd invited to the girls, the girls to the 
to the event. It was meant to be an event to showcase the new menu, to get uh, food bloggers in and to do positive things. I didn't trust these women to come in and do positive things in our restaurant after the things they've done previously. But we did. So we had a big old fight about that because that's just how can you how can you build a restaurant when the last time people came in they did what they did. So as I say, there are things that have that were added pressure because of the relationships associated with these women. And you know, my family does bring a lot into this relationship. You know, with my mom and helping her financially. Like, I want this restaurant to be so successful because I, I want to be able to make enough money on my own to yeah. help you because you've given so much to me. I know you worry about me every day. That's a big issue. It's, yeah. Is, is it ultimately Michael who's supporting her? Yes. Did they answer the question on who moved out? Oh, who moved out? I moved out. You moved out. I did. So where are you living now? I live in Alexandria. Are y'all going to get counseling or are y'all going to mm -hmm. try that? Okay. You're going to counseling. Yeah. It was really like almost like two weeks ago, I would say, that I had the epiphany that I don't want to get a divorce. So you're at the place where y'all are going to get back together? In my mind, I want to get back together, but I'm only 50%. Michael has to be on the same page as me. I, I want to get back together, but I want to get back together where we're both happy with where we, where we go. You don't want to get back into the same thing? No. Coming up. Everybody has seen you with this guy. Everybody in Potomac is screwing somebody. Who are you screwing? Blue eyes. I want to get back together, but I want to get back together where we're both happy with where we, where we go. You don't want to get back into the same thing? No. Look, we talk about this all the time. She's in her 20s. She's feeling out who she is going into her evolving life and, and future. And I'm, at uh, my age, coming through the end of my career, looking to all kinds of things that are very different than some of the things he's looking for. You have matured so much in the time we've been together. I've watched each year you mature significantly, and these ladies have probably seen it too over the time they've known you. And I see it coming. It's just, I don't know when it's going to ha happen. But or if you want to stick around for it, is what it sounds like. It sounds like you, like you want to set her free. It does. It sounds like that to me, too. What is your reaction to Karen and Giselle saying that it sounds like you're ready to leave this well, I'm relationship? Concerned. Yeah, I'm concerned. I don't, I'm, I don't know how they can know something I don't. No, no, I don't. No, 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 no. Michael, I would be the last one to do that because there's 17 years between Ray and I. And it is hard. But when you spoke, I read between the lines and I heard something that concerned me. It was just a tone. Hmm. So I wish the best, though. Okay. And I hope you guys don't give up on each other. And in this process, Ashley, I want you to know that we're here for you. Most of us have been where you are. Thank you. Anything else you two want to say to wrap this out? I mean, I want you to know, Ashley, um, I would like to solve this problem. I, I actually like being with you a lot. Your response to that is? I love him. I really do. He's yeah. my person. Chris, any advice for Juan about how to enjoy shooting anymore? Just hang with me, bro. I, yeah. right. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Ray, Chris, Juan, and Michael. Thanks for being here. Juan, did you have fun? I did. I, I enjoyed this experience. I do not believe you for a <laughs> second. Pinocchio. I don't believe you. Yeah. Thanks, Andy.